Diane McBain. Diane J. McBain was an American actress born on May 18, 1941, in Cleveland, Ohio. She started her career as an adolescent model in print and television advertisements. McBain was discovered by a Warner Brothers talent scout during her senior year in high school while she was performing in a Los Angeles play. She made her television acting debut in two episodes of Maverick in 1959. McBain gained notice for her role in the film Ice Palace, 1960, alongside Richard Burton and Robert Ryan. Her breakout television role was in the series Surfside 6, 1960-62, where she played an adventurous socialite. In addition to television, McBain appeared in several films during the early 1960s, including Parrish, 1961, and Claudel English, 1961. She was known for portraying roles typically as a spoilt rich girl during her time at Warner Brothers. McBain guest starred in various TV series after leaving Warner Brothers, including Batman, The Wild Wild West, and The Man from Uncle. She starred alongside Elvis Presley in the film Spin Out, 1966. McBain worked on films with American International Pictures, AIP, like Thunder Alley, 1967, and Mary Jane, 1968. Her career slowed down in the 1970s as she focused on caring for her son, though she continued making guest appearances on TV. McBain worked on a range of TV series in the late 70s and early 80s, including Charlie's Angels, Dallas, and Knight Rider. She also ventured into regional theater and had roles in various feature films during this time. In 1982, McBain suffered a traumatic incident, being beaten, robbed, and raped in her garage, leading her to become a rape victim counselor. Despite the incident, she continued her acting career in the 1990s and early 2000s, appearing in TV shows like Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and Sabrina, the Teenage Witch. McBain sought financing for her screenplay, The Spilling Moon, focusing on the first woman to trek along the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon. She died on December 21, 2022, at the age of 81, from liver cancer, at the Motion Picture Country Home in Los Angeles, California. McBain experienced a period of low visibility in the late 1960s before making a comeback in films like Thunder Alley, 1967. Her diverse career included roles in exploitation films like The Miniskirt Mob, 1968, and The Death Head Virgin, 1974. Apart from acting, McBain was involved in writing and sought funding for her screenplay about a woman trekking the Colorado River. Her legacy includes a diverse body of work spanning television, film, and advocacy work as a rape victim counselor.